Indy wrote an article this week. No. All right. And not Indy's articles. So I was going to write an article about ChatGPT or about the Hunter Biden laptop and something. And I decided to use ChatGPT to write this article because the first time I wrote it in Substack, it got blown out and the draft got lost. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use AI to write this article. Talking about the Hunter Biden laptop and censorship and Twitter and the Twitter files. And let's see what it spits out. So I decided to do that. And here's what happened. Here, what happened? That just happened. All right. So, hey, chat GPT, write a 250 word article about, like I said, the impact on Twitter files, Hunter Biden laptop, corruption at the highest levels of government. And I've got even more. Mm. Right? Having some fun. And this is, by the way, available at Indie, Indie Media Today. That's our sub stack. IndieMedia.today is our sub stack. Try to publish there every day. We did a live stream alert for tonight's show. Link's there. Check it out. Really cool. Love our sub stack. Having some fun, we decided to get on the chat AI chatbot train. If you haven't heard about chat GPT, AI chatbot sensation, I put a link to the CNET article, which explains what it is. But basically, it's a it's an advanced search engine where you ask it to spit out a certain code or produce a certain piece of content based on instructions that you give it. And the more detailed you you are, the the better or more accurate an article it can spit out. However, uh, it's free for now, and while it's in testing phase, it's kind of cool. Some say it would it could eventually replace human writers, which is scary. All, right, all we did was enter the following exact phrase into the engine verbatim. Quote, well, write a 250-word article about the impact of Twitter File 7, the Hunter Biden laptop, corruption at the highest levels of government, government influence, and overreach in social media and private business. Businesses. Here's what it spit out. And it's pretty amazing that this took about a minute for the engine to write, as well as the clear political bias, in my opinion, shown in this case. We've, I've made some edits both in line and, and then afterwards I provide a couple of other notes and comments at, you know, at, in summation. So this is what ChatGPT looks like. I basically copy and pasted exactly right in here, or wrote, wrote exactly what I wanted, and it spit out this article. And I put it in quotes. It says, the Twitter file 7, also known as the Hunter Biden laptop scandal, refers to a series of ads that occurred in late 2020 involving a laptop that says purportedly belonging to Hunter Biden, the son of then-president-elect Joe Biden, which is also not true. The laptop contained a number of allegedly corrupt documents and emails, now I add, and videos with minors performing explicit, explicit sexual acts, including ones that appear... Yeah, but those were, those were the fake ones. Right, that appeared to show, no, they implicate uh, Hunter Biden participating in illegal activities such as drug use and influence peddling. The scandal had significant impact on the 2020 presidential election and has continued to reverberate through the political landscape in the United States. That's probably the most accurate sentence they read they, that it wrote. It has led to widespread accusations mm -hmm. of corruption at the highest levels of government and has fueled go concerns about I'm government sorry, influence yeah. and overreach in social media and private businesses. My, my comment is that it should, are. it should absolutely be investigated thoroughly. Many have pointed to the role that social media platforms, particularly Facebook and Twitter, uh, have played in amplifying and, more importantly, suppressing, that's my comment, the controversy. The files were initially circulated on social media, now they, they said, by right-wing pundits and personalities. My comment, again, that plenty of people to the left of Biden shared it initially, too, but the initial person to reveal the info to the media publicly was Rudy Giuliani. However, the timeline is going to show why. Rudy. Who claimed that they showed evidence of corruption within my, the Biden family, which the laptop certainly did. Another thing I crossed out that the chatbot spit out was it says that Twitter faced criticism for not taking stronger action to prevent the spread of the files, which many believe to be part of a larger effort to undermine the credibility of the incoming Biden administration. With the revolution, revelation that we're going to read within the Twitter files, that's exactly what the FBI was saying to, to Twitter was the case. But, yes. but they knew for a fact because they had the laptop. It was an absolute lie and not the case. And I, my comment, 
Uh, additionally, is that famously Glenn Greenwald resigned from the internet, uh, from the inter, from, not the internet, from the Intercept, over their refusal to publish his story about the laptop in October 2020. Back to the chatbot, and this was actually a pretty good um, paragraph. The controversy has also raised concerns about the role that private businesses play in shaping political discourse. Some have argued that companies like Twitter have too much, too much power to shape public opinion, and they should be more transparent about their decision-making processes. Others, in my opinion, mm -hmm. authoritarians, have called for greater government regulation of social media platforms, arguing that they've become too influential in shaping public opinion and public outcome. Which is funny that they're both arguing about the same thing. Because but that's why they want to control them. One, some want to control them, mm -hmm. but right. Overall, the Twitter File 7 scandal has, a, has had a profound impact on political discourse in the United States and has sparked, an ongoing, has sparked ongoing debates about corruption, government influence, and the role of social media in shaping public opinion. It remains to be seen how these issues will be addressed in the coming years, but it's clear they will continue to be a source of contention and controversy. Pretty good article written by, by the bot, although, again, a lot of bias, and here is where my issues lie. Is first of all, the use of the word purportedly to describe the laptop's owner, because it's been verified by multiple yeah. sources that the laptop was, in fact, Hunter's, that he dropped it off at the store. There has never been an outright denial of the accusation that the laptop belonged to him in the first place by U.S. Intel officials, to our knowledge. They tried to insinuate that somebody might have placed files on the laptop after it was in the possession of the FBI, which is preposterous. Also referring to Biden as then president-elect because, timeline-wise, Biden was still the candidate challenging a sitting president at the time, not, in the, not the then president-elect. And that makes a big difference as to yeah. why the FBI was suppressing the story, why Twitter and all these social mm -hmm. media platforms did it. They should not have suppressed it more. They should have not have suppressed it at all. to mention XVP as well. Like, even right? if it was in between that zone. Unreal. He was a VP. All right. And then, of course, the thing that really drove me crazy was this Twitter face criticism for not taking stronger action to prevent the spread of the files, which many to believe, which many believe to be part of a larger effort to undermine the credibility of the incoming Biden administration. Wait a minute. Interesting that the algorithm didn't mention the much more important free speech issue of suppressing the story to the point of preventing it from being DM between users. Instead, it, it defaulted to a protect the powerful person mentality ignoring the potential that the accusation of corruption could actually be correct, but that nobody's been allowed to fully investigate it. Also, that Biden had not yet won the election, so to claim that it would undermine the credibility of the incoming administration isn't exactly accurate. It was done as much to sway influence prior to the election to help people decide with all the facts about who the candidates and their families actually were. Even AI bots were inclined to protect the Biden family's perceived name and reputation in spite of a mountain of evidence indicating the, pot the potential for corruption. It's weird. So that was my little experiment with, with AI chatbot. Um, I don't know what everybody thinks of ChatGPT, if you've messed with it, if you've heard of it, if you've heard people talking about it. But I also found this interesting. This is the Hunter Biden timeline where in mid-2019, I don't know how big this is, but Rudy Giuliani, uh, the DOJ and the FBI are monitoring his communication. In, uh, in December of 2019, they subpoenaed the laptop. In August of 2020, with no action by the FBI, the laptop repair company provides the hard drive copy to Rudy Giuliani. And six, eight weeks later, on October 11th, Rudy provides the copy of the hard drive to New York Post. FBI alerts Hunter Biden's lawyer um, that repair company retained a copy of the laptop, providing it to Giuliani, who gave it to the New York Post. And on October 13th, it gets published, right? On October 14th. But in the meantime, we know yeah. that the FBI warned Twitter sending 10 private documents through Teleporter about a laptop story. Hmm. And that's when, on October 14th, and we're going to, again, talk about the Hunter Biden laptop story and the Twitter files in the next segment.